Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ghosts vs. Zombies. Possibly the best game I've ever seen. Parrots vs. Zombies, actually. No, it's Ghosts vs. Zombies. And as you can see, very simplistic game. Uh, not very much to this game, but we are going to be talking about it and playing this game. As we can see over here, we have two <laughs> parakeets. <laughs> Which are actually supposed to be ghosts, but we got two ghosts and one zombie, and he says that no one cares about ghosts, but guess what? Boom, in his face. <laughs> so, you know what? We're gonna take his grave too. Boom, in your face. What? What? We wrecked you. Okay. Look at this. We got a pirate now. We got a pirate. Uh, uh, we all like pirates. Look well, at this. We're gonna destroy this. Well, the other guys are just his, like, bird. What? Well, he... Remember, like the parakeet on the pirate's shoulder? No, no, no. This is the this is the main pirate. This guy, he is something to be messing with. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This pirate with the 70 HP. Oh man, he's pretty... his 30 HP. <laughs> <laughs> he's got 70 HP if you like give him some hacking buffs. And I could probably do that actually. I'm thinking about hacking. I'm gonna actually hack some games. For some future episodes, guys. I'm not sure if anybody watched my YouTube content, but if you do, yeah, check out my hacking content. I'm gonna in hack your future. Your I'm gonna hack <laughs> your uh, router and I'm gonna take over uh, everything you own. So, um, be prepared to lose all your money, by the way, if you yeah, don't watch your videos. Oh yeah, I. Well, that's gotta be entertaining. <laughs> he said. Oh, uh, Okay, so anyways, this game, very simple strategy. Um, there's two very simple strategies, actually. Um, basically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kill the enemy graves, or you're supposed to take over all the enemy territories. Um, sounds simplistic, it really is. And it's not really that hard, because the AI rushes your graves, so you can take all the territories. Or if you really want to, you get the first hit on the grave, and then just spam all your guys on the grave. It's not very good. Um... I wouldn't really play it for that long, to be honest, but... It's not that great of a game. It's not really that great of a game, yeah, Keen's right. It's, um, probably one of the worst games on Ninja <laughs> Kiwi. Um, oh, man. On <laughs> Ninja Kiwi. Yeah, this is Ninja Kiwi. I know. Yeah, so you can find this game on Ninja Kiwi. I'll leave the link below. Worse, if you actually really want to play this game, I will indeed leave the link below so you can check it out. Um... Yeah, I thought you were doing this. No, no, it's actually really easy. Uh, but I'm going to leave a link below, and I'm going to hope that you subscribe and like to my content. Uh, I work really hard on my videos. Um, also, this game, I'm going to... an ambulance? Yep, apparently ambulances just come out of absolutely nowhere. You pick up the bodies so you don't have to see them. Uh, it's kind of weird, though, because you have to go as far as you can. You can't just, like, in this game, you can't just, like, move one step. It, is. it has to be all the way. So, the best strategy, in my opinion, at this point, is just um, to kill the graves. Because if you get the first hit on the graves, then you are pretty much set. It's pretty much a guaranteed victory if you've got the first hit on the graves. Unless they come out with, like, their big guy. Yeah, if they come out with their big guy and they take the territories around their grave, then you're not too um, good. Also, another mechanic in this game, another important mechanic, is uh, you can only place troops on your grave. So no, on the blue. No, on on your tiles, on your tiles, and your tiles are blue if you're the ghosts. I'm pretty sure there's a multiplayer. I'm not too sure. Um, I think it'd be uh pretty uh decent for about five minutes if we had multiplayer. <laughs> you know, it, the replayability value probably about a uh, very uh, low. Probably wouldn't want to play it ever again. But it's something to think about definitely. Um, you might want to check it out. I mean, if this, if you really like um hexagonal battles to the end with yeah, ghosts cult? and zombies, which is like amazing, then this is definitely the game for you. If uh, you look closely- If you're a normal person, then you probably won't like this game. I'm Okay. <laughs> yeah, Keegan, a little bit shy, he doesn't really like the mic. But, <laughs> I will admit, <sighs> whoever made this game, not a bad idea, definitely. It's a very good idea. A little bit overused though. I've seen I've been seeing a lot of games like this recently. Um, not too much different. Ow. If you think about it, there's not really like 
You can play Civ 5, and Civ 5 is like the same thing, but like 20 <laughs> times better. It's the exact same thing. It's not though. It's like way more tech like it's advanced. It's a whole new game. I would definitely recommend this game to people who uh, have a hard time actually playing video games in the first place. <laughs> Probably a good game for you. Um, also, I'd also recommend this to uh, people who don't really care for video games and just want to give it a try. Oh, man. Also, recommend it to just people, people who are more of that game. It's a pretty easy game, so if your self esteem is pretty well, you can <laughs> play this game. Make yourself feel a little bit better. We won! Yeah, it's not too. It's not too easy. Look, now they got the clowns. They got the pirates equivalent. The clown. Everybody knows pirates are exactly the same as clowns. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, they're, their HP is the same, so yeah. they do the exact same. They, they have the like same strength. Yep. Like the pirates have swords and the clowns just have their hair. Yep. Their hair is the most. Okay, no. Um, no, but as you can see, the uh, opponents are actually um, getting a little bit tougher, but they're AI isn't so it should be easy to time no matter it's, what. Yeah, it's just pretty much go out and attack the base. Mm -hmm. um, or you can take their territories if they're too stupid to rush your base. Um, yeah. It's actually easier if they rush your base. If they rush your base, then you'll normally be able to take out the territories and they won't know what hit them. Um, although, if because they, they if they do start to get hits off, then if you, you should try to get the advantage in. You should try to block your base if they start getting hits off. Not Which, really. Well, yeah, because then, if, if you're getting too low on damage. Uh, well, if you're getting but low... But don't group up together. Yeah, grouping up together, it just creates an army. And all what that does is it combines hit points, and then they all die in one. So instead of having a bunch of low level troops to take the brunt of an attack, um, you just have one big amount of troops that will die from like three hits. Uh, and like all your troops will die. So I definitely recommend um, attacking the town halls, like straight, or not the town hall, the graveyard, straight off. If you really want to win a lot of your games. But as you can see, we win. This is an interesting map right here because we're on either side. We're nowhere near our graveyard, which doesn't make too much sense to me, but um, like they're gonna rush my they're gonna rush my graveyard and that's not really the smartest idea because look he just lost his clown and he's gonna be gone for a long time now so what I'm gonna be left is I'm gonna be left with a huge force that I'm just gonna massacre them with and they're not gonna do anything about it. um of course I am a little bit newbie at this game now thinking about it after playing I can see myself having some Jeez. flaws but we are destroying those zombies oh snap Look at that clown getting in our way. We're gonna smash this clown, no problem. Oh wait, no we're not. We're gonna go for the grave. We're gonna waste all of our troops. Like I said, you shouldn't. But there you go, all of our troops are on cooldown. Um, just like I said, I'm an idiot. But besides the point, um, you can't spawn your troops on graves. On your own grave. That's another thing. So well, why would you? Because it's just like they're just tromping on their own graves. That's dumb. No. They're ghosts and they're killing their own. So, their, their ghosts are floating above the graves. True. So why can't you? And the zombies, you know, they come out of the grave. So why can't they be on the grave top? I no, don't... Yeah. That doesn't make too much sense to me. But yeah, you know what? Yeah, because they come out of the graves, but there's already a hand coming out of the graves. Like, to attack the, the ghost. That's the clone. Come, the hand coming out of the graves. I know. Like that. Yeah, I know. Um. But mainly, this game, a lot of... Uh, not very much strategy, actually. Um, actually, yeah, it's more of just like a... A spam fest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just place as many troops down at their... Oh, look, he ran back. That was the stupidest move he ever done. Because now we're just going to destroy that army. And look, that's three troops on cooldown. Um, another thing about this game is you get the reserve troops. When they get knocked out, they get put in reserves, and then they have to regenerate. Um, the I obviously the pirates and the clowns take longer than the stupid little babies. Yeah! <laughs> The little babies are just, um, little babies, obviously, they are pretty new. They can't really handle <laughs> warfare. Keegan's spazzing out right now, sorry about him. It just fell off. So anyway, as you can see, they're just massacring all my ghosts. Oh, look, I'm gonna massacre all their zombies in one turn. Oh no! Run, army! Oh, it was such a massacre! And now look, we've got more grave hit points. 
Um, and we have a troop that's not on cooldown, and they have all their troops on cooldown. So we are pretty much victorious here. I mean, there's nothing they can really do. I don't do. get why the zombies can hit the ghosts. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me either, but... Uh, look, we've almost won. They've only got, like, tw How many hit points is that? They've only got 20 hit points left. Um, I'm a little bad at, um, seeing, so... Sorry about that. Can you stop? Um, we still got a few minutes left in this video. Hmm, this game, you know... Sucks. <laughs> it's... <laughs> really bad. It's an okay idea. I mean, I can understand why they make this game. But it's a pretty popular it. game type. They just... No, it's just an average game. Really. Um, I, I don't know, I just, like, a pretty, like, uh, would you really want to uh, play this game? <laughs> oh, my rating shoot. out of 10 is, uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I just had a, um, catastrophe there, okay? Sorry about that. <laughs> the computer almost just exploded. Yep, yeah, the computer almost exploded. That was crazy. I can't even believe that just happened. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't even believe that just happened. I think this is the first time that we're gonna try to uh, try to uh, take off all of their like uh, spots that they can spawn. Yep, yeah, because now we got the big guy and the bi oh look look at that text bubble. That's an amazing text bubble. Text bubble? Yeah, look, just it's his gar and like there's nobody there. <laughs> oh shoot! True dad. I think it's glitched. I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope it's still recording. It says it's stuck. Hold on a minute.